Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here, and I am back again with another Creative Cow tutorial. And in our ongoing look at learning Avid's Media Composer and Symphony, I thought in this next lesson we would take a look at a common problem that I know that a lot of editors run into no matter what nonlinear editing application you are working in. Here's the situation. You've just set up a huge sequence to render a whole ton of effects. You know that you're either going to go to lunch or you have a meeting, and you really wish that there was a way that when the system is done rendering, it would send you an email to tell you. So this way you don't get back from your meeting or from lunch and find out that something happened and your sequence didn't render. Well, inside of Media Composer and Symphony, we have the ability to set up email notifications. We can set them up for a few different things, not just for rendering. So in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to set up email notifications. I'm going to show you how they work, and then we're going to take a look at a little bit of a, a settings, uh, sort of a mini tutorial on how you're going to set up different settings for the different email notifications and how you can switch back and forth between them very quickly and very easily. Okay, short introduction, let's just get into Symphony and let's get started. Okay, so let's Alt Tab into Avid's Symphony, obviously a Command Tab for all my Mac friends out there, and this technique works the same inside of Media Composer and inside of Symphony. Okay, so how do we actually get in and how do we set up these email notifications? Well, it's actually very easy. What we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our settings and we're going to come right down here just above export to our email notification. You'll see here it is right here. And to be perfectly honest, for the longest time, I never had this set up, which was actually a big mistake because once you get in and see how simple it is really to set up, you're going to be using this all of the time. I guarantee it. Okay. So you're going to need to know a few things to set this up. Now, the first thing that you're going to need to know in this case is what is the SMTP server information. Now, for me, because I use Gmail, it's smtp.gmail.com. Now, most people leave the port as port 25, but I know that Gmail does not work on port 25. It actually works on port 465. So I'm going to punch in 465. What I'm going to do is I'm going to authenticate with a username and password. So let's make sure we check that box. I'm going to store the password after closing. So let's store that. I'm going to punch in my username, which is, of course, my email address. I'm going to enter my password here. And we're going to use SSL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in and set up the email settings. Now we can put who the from name is from. So why don't I just say that this is from Kevin's Symphony. The from address, uh, and since I don't really have a from address, we'll just make one up here. It's going to be Kevin's Symphony at notreally.com. Uh, and the two address is, of course, going to be who is this email being sent to. Now, in this case, it's being sent to me, so I'm going to send it back to Kevin P. McAuliffe at gmail.com. Now, the next big question is, what do we actually want to send email events for? Do we want to send it when renders complete, when export is complete, or when consolidate or transcode is complete? Now, what I'm going to do for the purposes of what we're going to set up here is I'm just going to set this up for when a render is complete. So I'm going to disable the other two. What I'm also going to do right down here at the bottom, and this is probably the most important part of the whole process, is I'm going to make sure that I'm going to enable sending of email. This is the, e the master email control. So don't set everything up and then forget to set this because you want to make sure you set this because it's very important. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send a test email right here. And it's going to say, if you do not receive an email in a few minutes, please check the console for a log. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply say, OK, we're going to get out of the email settings here. And what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to come and I'm going to open up the console. Now, the console, to get to it, very simple. It is Control and 6 on Windows, Command and 6 on the Mac. And there's the console right there. And you'll see I can come all the way down to the bottom here. And you'll see nothing has been sent yet for the console. Let's just bring the console out here. And what's going to happen is once the email is sent, actually, there we go right there. It's telling me that the email was sent. So all I have to do is actually go into my email. I can refresh things, and I'm going to see that email pop up to tell me that I got a message. But I'm going to show you that in just a second here, because what I want to do is I want to set up a couple of renders so you can see how this is going to work. And like I said, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to show you how we can streamline this entire process. So like I said, I'm going to come back to email here for one second. There's three things that we can set up email notifications for. Render complete, export complete, 
consolidate, or transcode complete. Now, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to set up one of these. I'm going to set up a render complete. Why? Well, because I happen to have it set here to tell me about renders being completed. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to say, okay, and let's just get some footage here. I'm going to open my sequences bin, and we'll just open my, I'm sure we'll just take some motocross footage here, and I'm just going to create something that might be a relatively complex effect. But in reality, it's not going to take us that long to create here. So let's just pick a longer shot here. There we go. It's not too bad. Maybe we'll just make this about 20 seconds long. I'm going to edit this into a new timeline here. And all we're going to do is we're going to pick some corresponding shots here to stick on a new video layer. And I'm going to simply mark the entire clip, hit B on the keyboard on both Mac and Windows. Let's throw a 3D warp effect on here, which we know can be found inside of Blend. Here's 3D warp. Now, we're going to get a lot more into 3D warp in later tutorials because this is, you know, this plugin is just, there's so many things that we can get in and talk about and so many different effects we can do in here. It's going to require actually a few lessons to get through all of the things I want to show you. But what we're going to do for now is we're just going to take this clip here. We're just going to shrink it down like such. And I'm going to position it off frame. Now I'm going to want to make sure I do this on the very first frame here. So we'll just stick it off frame here. And I'm just going to delete this second keyframe because I don't need that here. And let's just zoom back just so that I can see where everything is. There we go. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is down here at the end, we'll add another keyframe. We'll just extend our clip across. And of course, because we can see the line that goes across the screen, I know that if I come back and I hit play, that we're going to have this moving across the screen. Very cool. Okay. And what we're going to do is once we get to there, we're going to add our next clip. And I'm going to hit Control and Y on Windows, Command and Y on the Mac. And of course, we'll just grab another clip here at random because we're not really caring too much about what clip we pick. And I'm just going to drop that in. Again, I'll just make sure I'm just viewing the right layer here. And I want it to come in about there. So let's just hit F6 here. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to extend this all the way down because I want these effects to move at the same pace. So what I'm going to do, Shift and Y, we're simply going to take the effect, drag it and drop it down here like such. And you can see that very quickly I can make a chain of elements moving across the screen. Now, of course, if I knew what the duration of this was, 505, I can simply say plus 505. And I know that if I drop the next clip in here like such, let's just grab a different one here. That's kind of cool there. And what we're going to do again here is we're just going to make sure, I'm just going to bring my bin closed a little bit here. We're going to make sure that this clip is 20 seconds long. And let's just drop it in here again. We'll just remove our out point. Very cool. And like I said, 505. So we're going to go plus 505. And I know that if I start this clip at 505 down from where the last one started, and we just do the exact same thing again, what we're basically doing is making a complex effect very easy. You'll see there's one shot, two shot, three shots. Now, of course, what I would do with the background here is just extend it all the way down so that all of my images move on to the frame and then move off of the frame. So you can see really in a matter of a couple of minutes, I created, you know, a lot of cases what people think might be a very complex effect very quickly and very easily. But what we're talking about now is email notifications. So what I'm ready to do now is I'm ready to go and take lunch. Why? Well, because I have an hour long show that's filled with hundreds and hundreds of effects like this that I want to start rendering. I want to know exactly what's going to happen when this render's done. I want to know that the render's done. I want to get an email that's going to tell me that it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to select the entire sequence. We're going to come right up here and we're going to go to clip and I'm just going to simply say render into out so that everything is rendered and I'm going to say go. What's going to happen is that the render is going to go through. You'll see it's a very quick render here. And in a second here, what we're going to do is we're going to minimize out of symphony and then we're going to go into my Gmail and I'm going to show you what the render finished email looks like. Okay. So our render is done. What should have happened now is an email should have been sent to me telling me that my render was complete. So let's hide Symphony for one second. And let's alt tab into Firefox here and you'll see here's the email telling me that it's an avid task completed. And what was completed? A render of the video was completed. So you'll see you know, this is a fantastic little, you know, bonus feature inside of the settings that most people don't even know is there. But it's a great way to get in, like I said, and set things up so that you know exactly what's going on 
when you walk out of that edit room. Now, what I did want to show you that's also exceptionally important, and I'm just going to come back in here to Symphony. I'm going to Alt tab back into Symphony, obviously Command tab for all my Mac friends, is that this also leads to a bit of a problem. And the problem that it leads to, and I'm just going to come back to my settings for one second here, is because I have it set to send me an email every time a render is completed. Well, if I'm not thinking and I leave this on, what's going to end up happening is, is that every time I render a dissolve, every time I render a flash room, every time I render a picture and picture effect, an email is going to be sent to me every time, and I don't want that. So how do we get around that? Well, here's what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're simply going to say, OK. And I'm actually going to duplicate this setting here. I'm just going to move the setting over here, but let's name it first. What we're going to do is we're going to call this render notification. Okay. We're going to take this setting. I'm going to simply select it, right click on it and say duplicate. Okay. What I'm going to do now is double click on this email. I'm going to switch it from render complete to export complete and I'm going to say OK. And this one is going to be an export. Let's make sure we spell this correctly here. Export notification. Okay. Again, exactly the same thing. Select the setting, right click, duplicate. Again, we want the one called dot one. I'm going to double click on it. This is going to be a consolidate or transcode. We're going to say OK. This is going to be transcode notif. Let's make sure I spell that right. Notification. There we go. And last but certainly not least, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, duplicate it, and we're going to call this one here no notifications. Okay. And in most cases, what we're going to do is we're going to leave no notifications turned on. And I'm going to make sure that I just disable the sending of emails. And we're going to turn off consolidate here. Let's make sure we disable that. I'm simply going to say, OK, so now no matter what happens, no email is going to be sent to me. But let's say hypothetically I need to do a big export. So right before I do that big export, instead of going into the setting and changing it, I've made presets for it. So all I have to do is say, oh, okay, I wanted the, the symphony to tell me when the export is done, no problem, let's just switch. As soon as I start exporting, as soon as that's done, boom, an email sent to me. Oh, you know what? I'm doing, you know, uh, I'm doing a transcode right now. Well, let's switch it. Now, of course, there was one that I didn't do, which was to leave everything turned on. But in this case, you know, in most cases, like I said, you know, you, when you're leaving for lunch, you're leaving for that meeting, you're really only going to do one thing. You're going to transcode or consolidate a bunch of clips. You're going to export something or you're going to render something. So you really only need to set one up at a time. And you saw that basically the instant that Media Composer Symphony was done, that email was sent to my email. So of course, if you got your iPhone, Android, Blackberry, whatever you happen to have attached to you at the hip, you're going to hear that little binging noise to tell you that your render, export, or consolidate is completed. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, or you have any tutorial requests, you can send them to Kevin P. McAuliffe at gmail.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.